All right, guys and gals, Neil from Neil Coins Recording. Today, I'm going to show you how to send files of any size easily, no fuss, no monthly subscriptions, pay as you go, really reasonable prices, really easy to use, bit of software. It's called Massive. Now, I struggled with the name for a little while. M A S V. Masv. Masv. Okay, Massive. Okay, I see what they've done there. Clever. So MASV Massive. So that's the software that we're going to be looking at. If you use the link in the description below, you can send 100 gig for free. You've got to use it within seven days, but 100 gig for free. Can't say fairer than that. Try it out with large files, see if you like it. Use the link in the description. The first things first, let's go into the Massive website. So yeah, you'll open up the website and you'll get your send 100 gigabytes for free. So it says the fastest way to send files, doing upload and download up to one gigabytes per second. Pay as you go billing, like I said, it's pay as you go. So you only pay for the file sizes that you send. 0.25 dollars per gig. I think that's so it's like 25 cents. I'm English, so I don't know. But it's 0.25 dollars per gig anyway. So really reasonable. If you want to send a five gig file, that's just over a dollar. No limits on size. So you can send a one million terabyte file to someone and they'll probably get it in about 10 years, but you can still do it. Don't test that out. So once you create your account on Massive, you'll go and get into the Massive interface, which is fully customizable with your own branding. So you can add your own branding, anything you send to people, anytime you use the software, it will have your branding on it, which is a nice little feature. So you can make it fully customizable to yourself. When you do send your files, there's a 10 day file expiry, but you can pay more to extend this to more than 10 days, but it's a good amount of time for someone to open a file. If they haven't opened it by then, you're probably gonna start getting a bit annoyed and wonder why they haven't bothered to open it. So, and once you've created your profile, you got your 100 gigs, so you can fire away as many files as you like. Get 100 gigs worth of files and just send them out to random people. And don't start annoying people there, that's not cool. Now, not only do you get your 100 gigabytes free, if you refer a friend, you get another 50 gig. Get 150 gig, they get 50 gig. There's gigs flying around everywhere. You can just send files left, right and centre. So yeah, refer a friend, 50 gig extra. If you want to send a file to someone, you can just click send files, add your files and just send it that way. Much like WeTransfer or any other file sharing uh, network. Now that in itself is cool. I've tried it, it works seamlessly. So, and you, like I say, you pay as you go. So whatever file sizes you send, you'll pay $0.25.25 per gig. Okay, so you just pay as you go. But the coolest thing about Massive is something called portals. Okay, now let me explain to you what portals is. So here we have a tab for portals. Now we've already got one here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create new portal just so I can show you what it does. So create new portal, you just give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Neil Collins and the domain I'm just going to call it Neil Collins Recording and click continue. Now I'm going to give it an upload password, so the password that I use and a download password, the password that the person on the other end will use. I send it to a recipient, me, and my message is going to be test. And then I'm going to click continue. Now I'm going to brand my portal. And then we're going to click continue. And then you can also integrate whichever cloud you're using into this. So if you're using a cloud to back up your files, then you can link it to Massive. So that's a nice feature too. Okay, so now it's created a portal. Now, what you do with this portal is you can just go to copy portal URL to clipboard. And then you can just email this to someone, okay? So you'll just email this link to someone. They don't have to have a massive account. Now they open the link on the other end. You can either have it password protected or not, that's up to you. If it's password protected, give them the password. They open it the other end. So they'll open up your portal. It'll be nice and branded so they'll know that it's from you. They can then add their files to your portal. They can just drag and drop them into your portal, click send, and then in your massive interface, if you go to packages, and you go to received, this will be where all your sent and received files live, okay? Anyone that sends you something via a portal will end up in your packages. So I love that. I can see that being really useful. If you're a wedding videographer and you've got an associate shooter, you can just send them this portal link and they can send you all their files. Now, obviously, you are going to have to 
pay for that file transfer. But if you work out the cost of the file transfer as opposed to sending them a hard drive for them to send the files back on, then it's quicker and it probably evens out, to be honest. So I can see it being useful for that. I can see it just being useful for other creative sharing. You know, for film work, just sharing clips with each other. Anything where you're working with other creatives, it's a great way of sharing files with each other. So once you have received the files, you can keep them in the massive account. You can send the package up to the cloud or you can download the package straight onto your computer. So loads of different places to save your files, which is nice. It's always good to have your files backed up in more than one place. Otherwise, they're not really backed up. Okay, so if we go back to the massive interface quickly, you've also got billing, which is how much you spent, how many credits you've got left, your invoices, you can do all that here. You've got your profile, so you can change aspects of your profile to customize it for your own use. Team, by default, it's just me. If you have more than one team that's using this software, then you can create different profiles for each team. It's not really relevant with what I'm doing at the moment, but that can be done. Okay, and you can just also you can click on the help tab. And there's loads of different help things here. And if you go back to the main website, there's some tutorials on there as well. So I've told you how it works anyway, but if you do need any more help, there are some tutorials on the website. That's all well and good. There's also another feature. There's the Massive app. So if you go on the website, you can download the Massive app. And this will allow you to automate sending and receiving files. So if you're really lazy and you can't be bothered to actually press send, then you can just drag your file into a designated folder. I've just called it Watch Folder. So you can drag a file into there and it will automatically send it out to a designated portal and a receiver. So you don't even have to send it. You can just drag it into that file, done. And then you can get on with more important things like feeding the fish. And you can also receive files that way as well. So you can set up your portal, so it send it to your watch folder, nice and easy. Click automate in the app. And then when someone sends you something via the portal, it'll automatically go into the watch folder and you can pick it up from there again super easy simple to use so in terms of transfer speeds when i tried it out it was similar to we transfer transfer speeds are always dependent on your wi-fi and your computer anyway but this works as good as any other file transfer software that i've used so there you go use the link in the description below get yourself 100 gigs free to play with use it for a week see what you think I think you'll like it and I think you'll carry on using it. And I love the pay as you go feature. Not all of us have got loads of files to send every month. So this way you're just paying as you're sending the files. It's not 25 cents. I'm going to look like a right idiot, but $0.25 a gig. You know, I think it's really reasonable. A dollar for a four gig file, I think is fair enough. That's it for this one. Really hope you found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Not many of you do that. And that makes me think that you don't like me. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you've used Massive or you plan to use Massive or what file sharing software you use. Just start a conversation. I read and reply every comment so you won't get ignored. Uh, if you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I review useful gear and just be nice to have some new faces on board. So please do hit that subscribe button. So that's it for this one. I got 100 gigs worth of files to send to someone. You've got 100 gigs worth of files to send to someone. I might refer a friend and get another 50 gigs. I might be sending files till this time next week, but that's it for this one. Catch you in the next one.